Hi preschoolers, it's Miss Danny, and I am back again with another Zoo Phonics letter. This week we're talking about the letter Y. Y is for Yancey. Yeah, can you make a Y with your fingers? Just like that, it's kind of like the Shaka sign. Hang loose. Or it's almost like I'm talking on a phone. Speaking of which, I can't find Yancey Yak anywhere. I've been walking all around the school. Yancey, Yancey, where are you? Finally, I picked up my phone and I called and I said, Yancey, where are you? It's time for Zoophonics. And you know what Yancey said? She said, when they did quarantine, she was on vacation in Hawaii. So guess what? Yancey is stuck at the beach. She did send me a picture of her. How cute. Do you think Yancey has to wear sunscreen? No, I don't think so. So I asked Yancey, I said, hey, Yancey, well, what do you want me to do with the kids? And Yancey said, I need you to teach them the sign for Yancey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need you to read them my favorite story about yakety yakking. And I need you to sing my favorite song with them. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's start by looking at the letter Y. Here it is. It's a tall one. There's Yancey hiding behind it. Now, this is a fun one to make. What lines do you think we use for it? We use the green one. We use a curve? No. And a big one. And another one. Just like that. Now, to make the letter Y, we start at the top. And we go diagonal, down, and then we frog jump up to finish it off. Let's practice. Diagonal, down, frog jump, and finish it off. Good job. All right, so I have a special book for you. It's called Yancey Yaks Yakety Yaking. Let me scoot over here so I can get you a good view. Yancey Yak yanked back the covers and bounced out of bed. She had so much to tell her friends about her adventure yesterday. Yodelay, 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 yo. Yodelay. Yancey sang in the shower. Yay for school, Yancey shouted, shouted as she got dressed. Mama Yak called to Yancey. Are you ready for breakfast? Yip, yap, yap, Yancey yelled back. Mmm, yogurt. Yum, yum, yummy in my tum, tum, tummy. Hmm, you know what I'm noticing, boys and girls? A lot of these words start with the letter Y. Don't talk. Oh, don't talk with your mouth full, Yancey, said Papa Yak. Don't talk, period, please, said Yancey's younger sister, Yolanda. You're always yakety yakking. I am not, Yancey yelped. Yancey zipped into the yard at Alpha Betty's school. Yo, Polly, she yelled. Yo, Sammy. Yo, Bobby. I went kayaking yesterday. Alpha Betty rang the bell. She smiled at Yancey. We all want to hear about your kayak adventure. Today is a very busy day, but tomorrow afternoon we'll have sharing time. You can tell us about your trip then. But Yancey couldn't wait. She started telling Polly Porcupine about the kayak trip during math. We kayaked down Coyote Canyon, said Yancey. Shh, whispered Polly, we're supposed to be doing math. During silent reading time, Yancey started telling Sammy Skunk about the kayak trip. Sammy put his finger up to his lips. We're supposed to be reading silently. Next, it was time for art. Alpha Betty smiled at Yancey. You can draw a picture of your kayak trip. Okay, said Yancey. But Yancey also wanted to talk about her kayak trip. She started whispering to Bobby Baboon. Bobby put his hand over his ears. I think when you're yakking in my ear, Yancey, you're a very yakety yak today. Yancey burst into tears. Alpha Betty turned back to Yancey's desk. Bobby called me a yakety yak, Yancey said. 
Bobby say, said, I'm sorry, Yancey. I do want to hear about your kayak trip, but not right now. Alphabetty whispered to Yancey, tell us about your trip with your drawing. And if you can be a quiet little yak during class time, you may talk first during sharing tomorrow. The next morning, Yancey was early for breakfast. She was wearing her Coyote Canyon t-shirt. She was holding her Coyote Canyon yo-yo, and she was absolutely quiet. Yolanda looked at Yancey. Then she looked at Papa. What's wrong with Yancey? She's not yakking. Yancey dipped her toast in egg yolk and popped it in her mouth. She smiled at Yolanda as she chewed with her mouth shut. When Yancey arrived at school, she smiled and waved at her friends. She smiled and waved at Alphabetty. Yancey waited for math to begin. She was very quiet. Are you okay, said Polly Porcupine. Yancey nodded yes, but said nothing. During reading, Yancey was also very quiet. Are you okay, asked Sammy Skunk. Yancey nodded yes and said nothing. When it was time for art, Yancey was still very quiet. Are you okay, said Bobby Baboon. Nancy nodded yes and said nothing. Finally, it was sharing time. Alphabetty announced, Yancey, you may go first. Yancey ran to the front of the classroom. She smiled and she said, nothing. She showed everyone her two drawings of kayaks. She pointed to the yellow Coyote Canyon t-shirt. She demonstrated her new Coyote Canyon yo-yo, all without saying one word. The class began laughing and chanting, Yakety yak, please come back. Yakety yak, please come back. Yancy Yak laughed too, and then she began to talk. My kayak bounced over waves. I was soaked in water spray, and then I yelled. It echoed in Coy Coyote Coy Canyon, but I can be a quiet yak as well as a yakety yak. And I made up a yodel about it last night. Yodel for us, Yancy. First, Yancy whispered, oh, yakety yak me quiet. As quiet as can be, a yodel, a yodel, 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 and a yip, yip, yippee. And then she chanted loudly, a yakety yak can yodel, a yakety yak can yak, a yodel, 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 and a yak, yak, yak. Yay for Yancy Yak, cried Alphabetty. She proved you can be a quiet yak, and a clever yak, and a funny yak, and a yodeling yak. Then everyone cheered, yay for Yoko Yak, and everyone did the yakety yak yodel. Excellent. I'm so glad Nancy picked out that story. So the song she wanted to sing is to the tune of Bingo, but it's all about this yippy yak named Nancy. There is a yak that teachers know. Her friends all call her Yancy. She comes to school on Mondays, yes, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, yes. She likes school on Fridays best, Yancey the Yellow Yak. So let's practice our yak. Make your Y, which ironically also stands for yellow, okay? And we're going to say Yancey Yak. Letter Y says yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do it with me one more time? All right. Yancy yak, letter Y says yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, good job boys and girls, we'll see you next time.